Hello, my friends. Pragito here for our weekly meditation. And today we're going to talk about joy. Closing your eyes, bring your attention inside. And breathe. Feel yourself coming down into the body. Hi, Jen. Becoming aware of your body. Is your body in a state of joy? Or do you have aches and pains or soreness somewhere? Either way, good morning, Palmer. Relax. Hi, Helen. Relax every part of your body right now. It's a secret is to relax the body. And then every other part of you becomes more relaxed and filled with joy. It's difficult to be joyful when your body is full of tension. So breathing Relaxing, allowing everything to be the way it is right now. Things can change in a moment. Good morning, Shala. Things can change in a moment. So just because maybe things aren't going well right now in some particular area, doesn't mean it can't change in the next moment. So come into this moment, which is now, and be here fully present with what is. If the mind comes in and starts judging or comparing, just let it go by. Just allow the thoughts to pass by. You don't need them right now. And you don't want them interfering with your joy. Joy is innate within us. Our natural state is joy. Just look at children. They, they are filled with joy for no reason. Running around, shouting, laughing, playing. And we are the same. We've just forgotten. We've allowed our joy to become buried underneath all kinds of stress and worry and we, the mind just kind of taking over and dragging us down. But the joy is still there. Joy is our natural state. It comes from within. And joy does not have to be connected to anything good happening on the outside. You can be full of joy for no reason, just like children are. Feel it now. Allow your joy to arise. Allow your joy to be there because it is there. And you don't need all kinds of amazing things to happen for it 
to be able to feel it and for it to be there. In fact, you can have curveballs thrown at you and still feel your joy. Breathe, feel yourself filling with your natural joy, just allowing it to be there. There's nothing to do because it's already there. That's the cool thing. You are naturally a being of joy. So how can you foster that? How can you nourish that so you feel the joy more often? Because it is all, it's always there 24-7. As a practice, you can enjoy yourself every day. Find things to do that you joy. If you're listening to this meditation, then you love meditation. So allow yourself to feel the joy while you're doing the meditation. But there are so many things that can bring you joy and everybody is different. Some people like baseball, some people like tennis, some people like running or jogging or going to the gym. There's no right or wrong here. There's no good or bad. It's just whatever brings you joy. Maybe it's taking your dog for a walk, hanging out with your grandkids. going for a coffee with your friends or a Zoom chat <laughs> with your friends. It doesn't matter what the activity is. The only thing that matters is that you enjoy it. So today and for the next seven days, check in with yourself, whatever you're doing, Am I enjoying myself? That is the question you ask yourself. Am I enjoying myself right now? If the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, then you have two options. You can either find a way to enjoy it or cultivate an enjoyment around it if it's something that, you, that needs to be done, like cooking or taking out the trash, driving your car, things like that. You have to do it anyway. So find a way to enjoy it. Make a decision, change your attitude. I'm going to enjoy cooking from now on. I'm going to enjoy driving my car from now on. Whatever it is. Now the other option, if the answer is no, when you ask yourself, Am I enjoying myself right now? The other option is, well, then don't do it, whatever it is. Very simple. It could be, for example, 
that you decided to go for a walk. It's cold and it's raining and you're going for the walk because you feel you ought to. You know, like we should exercise and things like that. It's the mind telling you you need to do some exercise. But if you're not enjoying it, then you are resisting it and it's not doing you any good. Better to go home and, for example, put on some dance music and dance in your living room, which is warm. You see, you just change the activity and use your creativity, the question you ask yourself is always the same. Am I enjoying myself right now? And what has happened to a lot of us is that when we were children, we were not allowed to do what we wanted to do but we were told to do things we didn't really want to do. We were given some reason, do it because I told you, told you so, and things like that, yeah. So another thing you can do, if you find yourself doing an activity that you're not enjoying yourself, ask yourself, was I made to do this as a child? Sometimes people, for example, are told they should always be busy with something. What are you doing sitting there doing nothing? Do something useful. A lot of children are told that. And so they learn busyness. It's not okay for me to just sit here staring out the window, relaxing on the couch. Going for a walk, looking at the sky and the trees and the flowers sauntering along with no goal, just enjoying being outside in nature. If you have been told as a child that you must always be doing something and have a purpose to it, doing something useful, for example, then you need to let go of that pattern now and just do things that you enjoy. And here's the thing. When you are doing things that you enjoy, you are centered. You're in harmony with yourself and with the universe and with your environment. There's a grace and a harmony to everything you do. When you are not enjoying yourself, you might be feeling resentment or fear, but there's gonna be some contraction, some tension in your body because you don't want to be doing what you're doing. And that doesn't serve you. You want your focus to always be on the enjoyment because that helps your health and wellness because your body is more relaxed when you're enjoying yourself.
And you might have been taught things white, like wipe, wipe that smile off your face. You know, you're being too loud if you're laughing a lot or something like that. Maybe you were put down for being joyful and laughing and running around full of joy. So bring awareness to yourself if that was the case. And then as you focus on doing things that bring you joy, these old habits will dissolve. The joy will dissolve them. Because we are all meant to be living a life of joy, of love, of happiness. Look at the flowers and the trees and the birds. The birds are always singing a joyful song. Look at children. They all know. So practice this every day. Am I enjoying yourself? Am I enjoying myself? And you will find yourself in a much greater harmony with yourself, with your environment, with existence, with everybody around you. You will find yourself more generous of spirit, more flexible, more relaxed. So do this for the next seven days and let me know in the comments below, let me know how you're doing with it. So we've come to the end of our meditation for today, my friends. Slowly opening your eyes and coming back into the room you are in. Noticing how your body feels now. How is the mind? How are your emotions and your heart? Are you feeling joyful? Don't judge yourself if you're not. Just let everything be the way it is. Right now, in this moment. If you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments below, write replay, and let me know about your joy and how you are doing. And I thank you so much. I always have such gratitude to all of you, for those of you who are on live, and also for those of you who are watching the replay. It brings me great joy to do these meditations. I will see you next week. Have a joy-filled week. Namaste, my friends.